All right, you may have heard about this around the country, a place where you can pay to throw an axe at a target. It's a sport that's gaining in popularity. And now you can throw an axe in, of course, northeast Minneapolis. Yes. We checked out Bad Axe Throwing ahead of their grand opening. All right, we're here at Bad Axe Minneapolis. Going to throw this GoPro strapped to this axe. I would say that my favorite thing about it would just be the fact that it doesn't feel like a job. Like you just go to work and it's basically playtime. I think it's just kind of like a weird niche thing. Uh, so a lot of people wouldn't expect again uh, to be throwing axes. And um, it kind of has that, that risque type backyard game that is bringing out that you can't find with darts or bowling. Like it, it's just, it uh, brings out a whole competitive side within people. There's something that you would find uh, very accomplishing when you're throwing an axe. There it is. Okay, let's do this. If I can remember. So close. All right, here we go. First throw. No way! Apparently I'm right-handed. Nice! I quit. I'm doing this for a living. I feel like I'm doing my tennis serve, and I need to maybe just go a little bit. A lot of people who are athletic will have that tendency to muscle memory. So just kind of uh, even tight. to be straighter. Yep, tightening up your grip just a little bit. Okay. And then you want to release more with the straight arm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Solid. Finally. All right. Worth the wait. Jennifer Mayerly, the tournament champion for bad axe throwing, where axe throwing lives. The medal goes to you. I think, Mike, this should go to you because, you know, you were the one that got it right away. Couldn't, couldn't possibly. Yep, back to you. You were very good at it from the start. I was raised in a cabin in the woods in upstate. I'm just kidding. No, I wasn't. I was raised in a suburb. I have no idea why I was good at that. You were great. You, uh, it was you, impressive. You improved quickly, too. We were there for what, like 45 minutes or right. an hour? And um, even if you struggle with it to start, yep. you can pick it up in that time. And no it problem. is very gratifying once you actually yes. get it. And it's kind of a, uh, I'm just going to, it's a It's a bad axe thing to tell your friends you've done. Yes, it is. If you know is. what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, the grand opening is later this month for bad axe throwing. They invite people to come and check out what axe throwing is all about. Coming up in the last weekend in April. And once they're fully open, you can book private parties or just walk in. There will also be a league that people can sign up for. And we have all the information at WCCO.com slash Links. Now, please remember, if you try to shoot the messenger, that I am an axe-throwing expert with this <laughs> forecast, okay? 